this is going to change how you think about motivation probably for the rest of your life. So right now I'm doing a series on avoidance. And I think avoidance is literally one of the most kind of egregious things that we do because it blocks us from creating the lives that we want. It blocks us from accomplishing our goals. And we often have a myriad of reasons why we avoid doing the things that we know we should be doing, the things that are good for us, the things that will get us closer to the lives that we want. The problem is we're not doing them. We're not doing the things that we should be doing. And one of the reasons that we don't do the things that we should be doing is because we think that we need to feel confident and or motivated to do those things. The thing is, most of the time, we don't feel confident or motivated. For example, I did not feel confident nor motivated to film this video. I often don't feel confident or motivated. The difference is I never expect to feel confident or motivated because uh, with having a degree in psychology, I have an understanding in how the mind works and it's actually not that common to feel super confident and motivated a lot of the time. I mean, man, maybe if you're like in a manic state or you have some type of personality disorder, maybe like maybe most of your day is spent in confidence and motivation, but you might have other issues then. The more, most people do not feel confident and motivated, but the problem isn't their lack of confidence or motivation. It's that they think that they should. And I think uh, part of this is that we often don't talk about this enough, but a lot of us have this sensation that we honestly don't know what we're doing. Like, we don't feel confident, we don't feel motivated, but we know the things that we should be doing. And so we show up and we do the things and we do them even though we're not confident, we're not motivated. And the kind of paradox is that the confidence and the motivation comes after. It comes after doing this repeatedly, 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 and to the point that it's like almost seamless. And that's when you feel confident and motivated. But when something is still hard, you often won't feel confident nor motivated. But that is no reason to avoid what you should be doing. So every time you feel confident and motivated, expect it. Be like, okay, this makes sense. I don't feel confident. I don't feel motivated. Everything is on track. Life is exactly how it should be. I am exactly where I should be because I should not expect to feel confident or motivated. Okay, I hope this helps. If you're looking to work on avoidance and things like this, I'm offering a specific program specifically on avoidance just this December and January. It's called the Leadership Growth Accelerator. You'll accomplish more in three months than you have in three years. Um, I really encourage you to check it out. Uh, link is in the bio or just DM me and I'll send you the info.